Hi, welcome to Bimodler. We are creating a series of parametric tutorials which is from the beginner to the advanced level. So in this tutorial, a particular tutorial, we are going to watch a parametric, a simple door family which help us to understand the angle constraint. How do we do a sweep? So let's watch this tutorial and learn the angle constraint which will be more helpful for the advanced tutorials such as uh, duct fittings or pipe fittings or any other angle constraints you wanted to do. And don't forget to subscribe and like and share with your learning friends. That will help us and support us. Let's start the tutorial. Let's start with the new family. Let's start uh, using the metric door template. Check the family category. It's door by default. Check their type parameters. It's height and width. The default parameters are available for the door. If you see the frames, it's a single frame inside exterior and interior. You can simply delete it. We don't need it. We are going to create a simple family. Edit the opening. So this is the opening we used to have by default in the template. You can edit it in any shape of door you wanted. Or in this case, we need a, just a rectangle. You can make a control Z of the same. Going back to the default. Open the interior view and level both the sides. We have the height value, you can see it is assigned. We are going to create a reference plane for our frame. So you can use CS shortcut as for the reference plane and create the reference plane on all three sides left and right on top. You can start creating the dimensional constraint. Select all three dimensions and create a new parameter which is a family parameter. Name it as it's a door leaf offset value. Now all values are in 45 millimeter. Going back to the floor plan, you can see the reference plane which is created. We have to change their value exactly to 25, OK. Now we have to create our sweep option for the frame. You can simply select the sweep and sketch the path. I used to draw the path outside our position and later I use the align command to align it. You can draw it on the same place if you want it. Use the align command AL. Align and lock it. And use the bottom side and lock the edges of the line. If you are facing any trouble, you can use the tab button to select the multiple elements if it is overlaps. Create the profile. The sweep requires a single path and a profile. Create the profile as a frame profile. Draw the shape as required. Trim and extend command, it is TR. If it is needed to be dimensionally constrained, you can do it or you can leave as it is. In this case, I am going to maintain the thickness. So I am making a constraint over in this place as door leaf thickness, I am going to maintain.
use the tab and align the center axis with the frame finish the profile and finish the sweep and now we have the door frame you can check the same and let me create the smooth corner I like to keep it as 10 millimeter On the other side, I like to keep it as 5. Finish the sweep again. Finish it. Go back to the 3D and check your profile as created as frame. Coming back to the floor plan. Now we are going to create a angle constraint, we have to create a reference line. If you wanted to know more about the reference line and the reference plane, there is a video in the link i section on the top, you can check those out. I am just creating roughly from the center position of that axis and make sure you are aligning and locking the edges of the line. Make sure you are using the tab to select the multiple object if it is overlaps on horizontal and vertical axis. Check the angular dimension and there is a length value we have to create the door length actually so you can take a edges of those line we have to maintain these length as door leaf length because the actual door width will be something else and we are going to use the formula to reduce the offset of the door. It is a door leaf length width and as an angle constraint as angle as the parameter I wanted to keep this as an instance parameter. Go back to the type parameters dialog box and change their value, width value and create a new formula. So it will be the width minus 2 times door leaf offset. This is a simple formula. Make sure that it is a case sensitive formula. You have to, the parameter must be case, case sensitive. Apply it. You can see the value changes. Change the angle value one time and check everything is working perfect the angle constraint also working perfect the lines moving along the angle what we are giving 0 it's aligned properly with the door frame coming back to the same dialog box and I'm assigning the 45 Now we have to create an extrude as our door leaf. We can go to the 3D view. It will be easy for us to understand the reference plane and their reference axes. Set the work plane, pick a plane and you can use the tab to select the plane. Once you are selected, use the pick line and draw the object. I'm just simply creating 50 offset later we can assign the parameter as the door leaf thickness create the linear dimension between the two two lines in 3d dimensions are not visible go to the plan view 
and assign the parameter as door thickness, lid thickness. For regarding the width, so we have to assign the parameter, create one more angle constraint, sorry, one more dimensional constraint and assign the parameter as door leaf width. Now the object which is created, so we have to check that whether it remains and maintains the angle of the line. Go to the family parameter, change the angle constraint value. Try it multiple times with the multiple values so that we will be coming to know that whether it works properly. Now we have to constrain the height of the leaf. We can simply use the align command and we have the top reference plane lock with that. Now see that in 3D and you can go back to the material assigning options. You can create a parameter or directly assign the value. I'm going to create the parameter. Assign a wood material any wood material as you require if you need asset library from the asset library you can take any materials and assign it replace an editor simply doing that you will get it as soon as as possible Finish it. The parameters are done. If you wanted to fill any other parameters, you can fill it. In this case, bmodeler.com. Select OK. Change it into realistic. Have a look at your family. One more time. We have to test it. And we have to assign the visibility constraining. So visible option, it, it, we don't need a visible in the plan view. We can simply go to the visibility graphics override. We can untick the plan view so that the 3D element of the leaf will not show in the plan. For instance, we have to create the line element which will be shown in the plan. We can say this is a symbol which will be shown on the plan view but in 3D it will show the leaf. Take the arc, it's a simple line object, symbolical line. Create the arc between the edges and don't forget to lock the constraints so that it maintains the arc value. Change the line type as a hidden line so that it will be match with your pattern. Go back to the family parameter one more, one more time check whether it obeys the angular constraint. It fails, it's good, working fine. Save the family into your project locations. Back of file one. simple door parametric family. Save the family. Now we can test this in the project environment. You can simply load into project. You could place the family. Once you are placed, you can change the angular constraint, which is the instance parameter. It gets changes automatically. So that's it. So now I hope you understand the angle constraint.
practice it multiple times as you can. I hope uh, this tutorial helped you to create a parametric uh, simple door family and also it helped you to learn the angle constraint and I will see you on the next tutorial and meanwhile subscribe if you are not subscribed yet and share it with your learning friends so that they also learn it with you. The next tutorial will be how to create a leg for a table or a chair or a stool which is constrained in angle in a two different directions. Stay tuned. Happy learning. See you on the next tutorial.